Let's have a discussion right now. I've got a pedal here, and you already know what I'm about to ask, because I asked it in the title and the thumbnail. But seriously, who wants this? Like, legitimately, tell me who wants this. Who is this for? I'm holding the Rev G2 5th Anniversary. And I can tell you right now that I don't want it because I already have one. <laughs> and I want to keep this one. I've actually paid this one the highest compliment that a guitar YouTuber can pay to any product, to any pedal. I Velcroed it and used it. I've used it on gigging boards. I've used it in my own personal time because I like it. It's a great pedal. So anyway, sorry to fake you out with fake drama. I got to get you to click somehow, right? But anyways, Rev sent me the fifth anniversary because they wanted it to get announced that there's a fifth anniversary colorway model. So I thought, I don't need two of these things. I have one. I like it a lot. I like the green finish on this one. Like This finish is cool too. So I might as well give this one away. You know how I like to do things. We're doing Hoop Jumpers Club. The link is down in the description. It'll be chock full of all sorts of affiliate leaks and funny little places I want to send you and stuff like that. But anyways, I figured as long as I have two of these around before I give this one away, might as well have some fun doing like stacking, some stereo stuff. Just kind of have a good time having two G2 pedals at the same time. G2 times two. So let's plug them in and start having some fun. As you can probably tell, I'm going to be using my Fender Player 2 Jaguar, which I've already cosmetically modified. I went nuts on this thing in the first two months of owning it. Go look for the video of me doing that if you want to know more. Also, I'm going to be running into the two Princeton's rig. Enough of that. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. By the way, even though I already said that I have one of these, apparently these are different circuits slightly. They've, they've updated the circuit for the anniversary a little bit. We'll discover how different they actually are. Also, Rev is running some sort of giveaway situation of their own, where if you don't want to wait to find out if you're winning this one from me and you just have to go buy one, it sounds like there's a one in 10 chance of winning some sort of swag or maybe even an amplifier. I, I don't, I don't know the full specifics. So click the link down below to go check out what's going on over there at Rev. But let's get into it. Here is my dry signal in the middle position. I went for the minor for some reason. All right, here is the original Rev G2 with all the EQ at noon, the gain, oh, it's dusty, <laughs> the gain right about there, and that drive clipping option in the off position. I've tried to copy that over on the anniversary model as well. And here's how the anniversary model sounds. All right. It's brighter and clearer. similar. I have a feeling pulling the mids a little bit might help. Maybe boosting the highs. We'll try to split the difference. I'll pull back the highs here and boost the mids. I 
I'm not sure I'm going to be able to make them sound the same. There feels like there is a full-blown personality difference. It's slight, it's subtle, but it is there. More gain, it feels like, from the anniversary model. close that is. I've gone too bright <laughs> with the original now. Now this is creamier. Let's see what these sound like. Wide open, high gain, heavy metal, chugga chugga nonsense. That's not what these pedals do. <laughs> the G2 is an overdrive pedal. If you want the super duper high gain, heavy metal stuff from Rev, then you get the G3 and the G4. Everybody knows that. Why am I even telling you that? You don't need to know that. But anyways, let's see how they differ with that gain all the way up. Yeah, still like a different personality from the anniversary. It's it's hollower. It's got like this built-in mid-scoop sort of sound going on. That's very interesting that it is so different. I mean, it's not completely different, but it does have a different flavor to it. Which one do you prefer? I've long gone to the G2 for a creamy, overdriven tube sort of sound. So I haven't fully wrapped my head around this being brighter and crispier. There's a difference in the game character as well. Like that sizzle is much more present on the anniversary. How interesting. Am I gonna regret giving this one away? <laughs> it's too late now. I've already committed, even though I could stop recording right now, turn off the video, never edit or publish any of this. I could just take a picture of this and post it on Instagram. And be like, I did it, Rev. I helped you promote your pedal. <laughs> no, I wanna give it away. I like giving stuff away. Do you like it when I give stuff away? I know a lot of you feel like, oh, I'm never gonna win. You might. People win every single time. I mean, we've been spending the money shipping this stuff out. By the way, we every time we give stuff away through the Hoop Jumpers Club, it's international. Anywhere in the world, as long as we can ship it to you, we will ship it to you if you win. And we have shipped stuff all over the world so far. Uh, let's try the red clipping option, the red channel. <laughs>
Interesting. The red side, the red channel on the anniversary sounds thicker to me. Where this is more barky and crunchy. I mean, what adjectives would you use? <laughs> I'm really just abusing the dictionary over here, aren't I? All right, let's start stacking. I want to start in the middle with lower gain sounds. I'm having fun. <laughs> Obviously, there's a billion different ways to combine these. I love stacking overdrives. Do you like stacking overdrives? I think we all like stacking overdrives. You get distortion when you stack overdrives. You go from overdrive into full-blown distortion, and you can, of course, pull it back if you want to. Sometimes you even get fuzz when you stack overdrives. I'm not promising that right now, but I'm gonna see what I can do. That was stupid. <laughs> that was too much. So anyways, let's do the thing that I originally set out to do. I want to run these in stereo. If you ever want to run stereo like me and you happen to have two amplifiers, you don't have to have two Princetons. I mean, it's a nice thing to have if you can have two Princetons in your life, but you don't have to have two Princetons to have a stereo rig. You can mix and match. You can mix your great big 100 watt half stack monster that you never 
feel like loading in your car to gig with, with a Boss Katana or whatever, like just to get that stereo spread. And then use something like this. This is what I use to get all my stereo mixes. Uh, this just electro harmonic switchblade. They're affordable. They get the job done. You can actually even use these to swap in between different speakers if you're testing speakers in your amps. It can take it. It's a completely passive circuit and you can really just run whatever you want through there without screwing stuff up. I'm now running direct into each of the Princetons. No delay pedals or reverbs or anything like that. Running after these. Let's dial them in to be a little bit more conservative here. Now, this is going to be interesting because the Princetons themselves sound a little different from each other. They have different model speakers. They might even have a slightly different circuit because they are from different eras, different build years. So these two pedals that sound slightly different from each other are going to be running into amps that sound slightly different from each other. And that's kind of what I love about these stereo experiments is that they tend to fill in the holes. Each side tends to fill in the holes that the other side was missing and you get this really fun full sound. Even when you're not mixing in stereo, when you're mixing in mono, you still get this great fat sound from mixing amps and pedals and sounds that are similar but different. I mean, you can you can mix stuff that's wildly different for a fun effect too, but when, you, when you're really close, when they're similar, there's a fattening that happens that's kind of magical. Yeah, the Blonde Princeton is darker, even with this brighter pedal running into it. All right, both on at the same time. Middle position. And neck. I really can't pitch stereo rigs highly enough. Like it's the way it feels in person, in the room. You know what? You might be wearing headphones right now and hearing that stereo spread, but when you can feel it with your whole body, when you can feel that the grit of the gain is different from the grit of the gain over there and the EQ is clashing and swimming around you because I'm doing stupid wild stuff, like pulling the mids over here and boosting them over here and changing the gain. Like I've got the blue channel up here and the red channel over here. And just those differences, it just feels like, mm, it's just swirling around you. It's a very satisfying experience. I can't recommend it enough. Do a stereo rig at home. Thank me later. <laughs> Thank you. 
little bit softer. comes through. That sounds pretty great. Should you go out and build a whole stereo rig that involves two G2s? I can't tell you not to, but why not start with one, right? Enter to win. I'm trying to give this thing away. I can't have copies and copies and copies of pedals building up in my life. I can't have two of everything. That would be ridiculous. I, I've got two Princetons. I can't have two of everything else. I'd end up dying underneath an avalanche of pedals and other gear. I say this as right now I, I have four Jaguars in my life. Oh my gosh. Even if I could get rid of all the redundancy that I have around here, I still have way too much stuff, which is part of the reason why it's so much fun for me. It's so joyful for me to be able to give stuff away. Now that we have an easy way to do it with the, uh, with the, the Hoop Jumpers Club, having trouble finding the words today with the Hoop Jumpers Club, it really does make things easy. That's the whole reason why we do it is because the King Sumo program makes it easy for us to just have a website, pick a winner for us. We get your email and then we can get your address and just ship you whatever you won. We don't have to do like all this stuff that we used to do when we would do contests where we have to judge entries and stuff like that. Oh my gosh, what a hassle. Also, huge thanks to the people who really make giveaways possible. The Patreons, we're able to ship pedals all over the world because we have a budget, thanks to the Patreons. So I'm gonna scroll the Patreon list. I probably already started doing it. Uh, pick a name out of the list and thank them down in the comment section. They make giveaways like this possible. Uh, this, this Rev didn't ask me to do this. I didn't tell him I was gonna do it. This isn't even a paid demo. This is like a friend thing where I'm friends with the guys at Rev and they're like, yeah, can we send you a pedal? We have this anniversary pedal. Like, yeah, sure. There was no like promise of filming it or anything like that. I'm just like, now I've got two of these things. Let's give it away. And yeah, the Patreons are the real heroes here because they fund those sorts of activities. It's not cheap to send stuff to uh, made up a stand, <laughs> which is a country I just made up, made up a stand. If you live there, let me know down in the comment section. So anyways, huge thanks to Rev. Uh, I love those guys. I had them over for tacos to my house. I had them to my house for tacos uh, before Nam 
last year. They were down here doing other business. It's like, you're in town. Let's have tacos together. Let's hang out. I love those dudes. So huge thanks to the Rev Boys for sending this out to me and everything else they've sent out over the years. And thanks to everyone who's made it to the end. Of course, thanks to the Patreons. Thank you for making it to the end of the video, watching the whole thing, even though like, whatever. Like, you don't need to watch this video. You want to go watch, you know, like KDH complain about something. And you chose this video instead. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways uh like subscribe just like leave me rude nasty comments support us on patreon buy a shirt if you're naked and stay grounded bye everybody